What's going on, Sack Kings fans? It's your boy, Jay Woods, Shy the Man, back with another morning after. Cup of Joe with Jay. Yes, sir. Ha ha. All right, my camera will work for me. We'll get on with the show. So, last night was the Utah Jazz at the Sacramento Kings. Unfortunately, I was not able to watch the game. I'm not sure why. I don't know if the game was not on my uh, local channel or if it just didn't record, but I didn't get to see the game live. I got to see game highlights so um, this is basically my review of the game based on the highlights I saw. So there were no starters. There was um, all the starters were out pretty much. Uh, Fox Sabonis did not play. Uh, Keegan did not play. And uh, neither did uh, Trey Lyles. Um, they had Monk out there, Mitchell. Uh, Lynn played, McGee played. Uh, I'm actually not even sure who what the starting lineup was last night. So the way they have it listed on the internet, um, they have it listed, it appears in order by who started. And it looks like it was Harrison Bards. Uh, Sasha Vizenkov might have started last night. JaVale McGee at center, obviously. Uh, Donovan Mitchell guard, Kevin Herter at guard. So um, I thought they might have started Malik Monk, but apparently they did not. They went with Vizankov, Herter, and Barnes, basically as a three-forward lineup. Uh, Herter was basically playing two-guard. <clears throat> it's funny because Malik Monk got 23 coming off the bench. Ah! And he was the highest scorer. Kobe Jones had 19 coming off the bench. He was the second highest scorer. And uh, even Kessler Edwards had 14 coming off the bench. The highest starter, uh, highest scoring starter was Sasha Vizekov, the 13. Ah! I love it. I find that pretty interesting. So they were battling. Both teams were battling back and forth. It was actually a pretty good game. Uh, that that guy uh, uh, Tucker got a few steals. That guy uh, out in the open court, he was ripping guys. I was like, wow, okay. He was just poking the ball away and getting fast breaks. I saw that at least twice in the highlights. Um, this is a night when they didn't have their starters. Uh, resting them, obviously. This is the last playoff game. Last playoff game. This is the last preseason game before the season. So might as well let these guys get a break. No sense in pushing too hard. You know, it's not the Warriors anyway, right? Right? It's not the Warriors anyway, right? So no love lost there. But uh, might as well give them a break. Don't want to get anybody injured or anything like that. Score was 113-116 uh, with the Kings pulling it out in the end. It was a back-and-forth game. Like I said, the Jazz were actually winning a lot of the game. So the Kings actually came in at the end and won uh, with with uh, Malik scoring 23 points. And pretty much Malik Monk took over the end of the game and was the reason why the Kings won. He was hitting threes. He was getting shots, back-to-back -back shots. Uh, him and Kobe Jones, they came in and added a lot of energy in that fourth quarter, and they were able to pull the Kings over the hump offensively. So a few thoughts on Vizankov. I, I finally got to see Vizankov play, or actually in some highlights, I should say. And he looked good. He, he looked really smooth. He looked comfortable this game. The few other games, he looked a little slow, looked maybe a little sluggish. Uh, maybe he's getting uh, into tune with the speed of the NBA game. You know, maybe he's getting into shape. I'm not sure what it is, but he made some really nice cuts to the basket for layups and dunks. Uh, you could tell he has a very high basketball IQ. He, he uh, made a pass and got his defender in the air 
and he cut to the basket after that while the defender was still in the air for an easy layup dunk. So, you know, he has the he you could tell he has the IQ. He plays that European style ball, that move, that cut, move, pass style of play. Three point shot is is on point. He shot a three from the side that looked just so smooth. It, it looked like he wasn't going to do anything else but go in. So um, that was pretty cool. I saw a little 49. Look at my little 49er. Little 49er emblem over my king's emblem. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, I got a, I got a 49er logo or helmet back there or whatever. So. It's picking that up. It's kind of cool. Um, that's my other, that's my football team. Okay. And then um, aside from, aside from Vizankov, uh, Donovan Mitchell, he was out there hitting some threes, man. If, uh, if we could get Donovan Mitchell hitting threes at a consistent rate and at the end of games, you know, he can be a very, very good threat for the Kings and help us win some games. Uh, I, I felt like his three-point shot was a little off, you know, his first few years in the league. Uh, but I know he's a worker. He's always shooting and practicing. So I always knew his shot can get better. Um, it looks like it's gotten a lot better. He He's hitting, man. He's he's hitting pull-ups. Uh, he's catching it off the uh, – catching off the pass and taking very nice, clean looks at the basket. And he's hitting his opening three. So – if he can he can turn that up some more, that's a very very valuable asset for the Kings right there. Donovan Mitchell's defensive game and him able to knock down threes, uh, especially late in the game, would be very beneficial for the Kings in their efforts to win a championship. Lots of guys were actually hitting threes. Uh, watching the highlights, you know, that's pretty much all it was: it was layups, dunks, and threes. But <clears throat> um, I saw Kessler Edwards hit a few threes. I saw Kobe Jones hit a few threes. I saw Donovan Mitchell out there hitting threes. And of course, Malik Monk, he was hitting threes. He's always hitting threes, uh, hitting shots. He's a scorer. He's definitely a scorer. So um, if the if these guys can keep that up, man, I mean, we'll, we have a, a squad full of three-point shooters. And some of these guys, you know, their their role is more off the bench, you know, defensive guys. If we have some legitimate D and three guys coming off the bench, this Kings team can go really far in the playoffs. That's pretty much all I got. Hey, guys, uh, let me know how I did in the comments. Uh, if you have any comments about the Kings, put it in the comments. You know, I don't have a ton of subscribers yet. I'm just starting this channel off. Uh, hoping to grow, hoping for big things, but we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. I like talking Kings regardless. So even if it's just a small community, I'm okay with that too. Um, I would like to do some live game uh, reviews and, and I'd like to go live maybe with this morning after stuff. So, you know, once we build up the subscribers, we're going to do some more fun things with this channel. So go ahead and subscribe. You know, why not like the channel, especially if you're a Kings fan, you like to hear Kings talk. You listen to Kings radio, you know, I'm just another perspective. I'm a longtime Kings fan and I'll, I'll come on here and I'll talk Kings uh, and I'll really try to give a legitimate, honest perspective on the Kings and what they're doing. And I'll try to keep it entertaining too. All right, guys. So. Go ahead and subscribe, like the channel, and share if you want. And I'll talk to you next time. You guys take care.